this week in lab we're going to be doing chemical reactions. Um, we've set up uh, eight reactions underneath the fume hoods in the lab room and we're just going to be doing them in any order that we want to. We're very interested this week in you recording observations that you see about those chemical reactions. Remember that we have kind of four lines of evidence. We have the evolution of heat and or light, the production of a gas, the formation of a solid from aqueous solution, and dramatic unexpected color change. So we're going to be looking for those things. Also we're going to be interested in you being able to write balanced chemical equations with our help for the various reactions that you're looking at. Um, the four categories we've kind of gone through in class and if you look at your lab you'll see that those four categories are on the front page and uh, many of the reactions that you're going to do are very very similar if not identical to the ones on the front page so make sure you keep looking at those when you're doing it. The um, You need not include phase information. Students ask about that a lot so you don't have to worry too much about that. And all of our waste disposal problems are going to be handled in the hood as well. I thought that one uh, quick way to sort of show you how it's going to go is to sort of do here experiments 7 and 8. It's kind of a double experiment underneath the hood here and I've got it set up where you're going to take a little test tube and you're going to use a scoop to put a few magnesium turnings in and then you're going to take the hydrochloric acid after having put the test tube in a test tube holder because it will probably get quite hot you're going to begin to put acid in it at the same time you or your lab partner is going to get ready to light the match and you're going to then put some hydrochloric acid in the test tube observe the reaction and then light the match and put it on top of the test tube and you can actually see the gas that's being produced being combusted and when it's all done, then you can dump all of your reaction products in the waste and put the used test tube uh, in the rack. Uh, you'll probably have a test tube rack that you'll carry around with you to do some of the reactions, but other reactions will have uh, disposable test tubes under the hood, so uh, you can use those as well. Have fun with it.